here and to share this with you. During quarantine, I decided to create some painting classes and I went about it like from back when I was younger and the things that I wish I had when I was learning to paint, I wanted to be able to like sit down and watch somebody from start to finish. And so that's essentially what these classes are. So here's what all it includes. A paints crash course video that talks to you about the different types of paint, color mixing videos that teach you how to mix colors. There are 10 separate painting courses and each one is broken into three segments a beginning, middle, and an end. There's also free bonus material that's available to you through my website. If you want, I have a lot of extra resources for you, printables, um, tips um, on how to make your artwork better, tips on choosing your color palette, all that kind of stuff. You can receive that on my website if you go to www.samanthawood.art and go up to the top where it says art class. You can click that and then um, fill out the little form there for email and the request for um, that extra bonus information and I'll email that to you. And you can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and then also on TikTok. On Instagram especially, I would love for you um, to share what you're painting and to tag me um, so that I can see what you are up to. You can also check out what kind of art I'm creating and what I've been up to while you're there. I'd love to see um, what you're creating and find out if these courses have been helpful to you. So anyways, we will go ahead now and get started on this first lesson. Oh, one last thing. This little intro is going to be the same on every single video, so you can just skip it um, or pick up. Like if you don't need the color mixing videos, just pick up where you're interested um, along the way. I'll be releasing this content on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of each week for the next few months until everything has been released. So anyways, I'm excited that you're here and I hope to see you over on Instagram or Facebook too. All right, so since we got the hard part out of the way in part one, we are ready now to go into those ice creams, get a second layer on there, and it's really gonna kinda start looking like real ice cream. We're gonna kinda work on those shadows and some of the details on the cone, and it's gonna start coming together. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today we are ready to jump in and work on this second coat, and I'm getting started by going in with my dark chocolatey brown and I am kind of going back over like the center of those shadow lines and making it even darker. And then on the cone um, where it's dipped in the chocolate, I'm going to add some darker areas there as well. <laughs> Today for the ice cream color, I've mixed in um, even more of that bronze yellow to have more of a creamy color. And I'm taking the lightest of that color right now and painting in where the lightest spots on the ice cream are. So I'm getting those highlights in place. the highlights in place I'm mixing like my middle tone and I'm gonna kind of go in and fill in the rest of the empty areas that I haven't touched with paint today um, fill the rest of those in kind of with that middle tone got the mid-tones in place I mix in like a darker kind of a brownish gray a really light brownish gray but it's darker than um, my kind of middle tan tones that I used for the ice cream so I'm kind of going in the places where it's more in shadow and adding those tones in there <music> to start 
start adding the detail on the cones I've mixed like that lighter kind of golden yellow color and I'm gonna start putting um, like the diagonal or slanted lines of the cone that go from the top of the cone down toward the bottom I'm gonna get those in place and then go across the other way and kind of create that checkerboard pattern um, as the first step notice on those horizontal lines that I'm doing right now that they have like a slight curve to them and that kind of makes the cone have that rounded feel they're not like perfectly straight so I went ahead and switched to my little detail brush and I am going in I've mixed kind of like a medium brown color and you'll notice like in the texture of the waffle cone and um, there are like darker lines in certain areas it kind of like forms a pattern so kind of look at the reference photo um, and look for those patterned areas so I'm just kind of going in and adding little dark outlines where I see them in the reference photo of the little squares are like more of just a darker brown color um, than the other ones so some of them I'm um, like filling it in more and then the other ones I'm um, outlining more Now that I've got the darker lines and darker areas kind of put in place on the cone, I've mixed an even lighter color that was lighter than the kind of golden yellow that I used for the lines on the waffle cone. So now I'm kind of got going in and looking at that reference photo and finding like the very lightest spots. Um, and a lot of times those brighter spots run right alongside the darker spots. And so I'm just going in and adding those where I see them. cone um, it's kind of like a little bit darker or there's not as much contrast between like the lines of the waffle cone and the flat part so I'm kind of going over that and kind of blending that out a little bit um, I'll have to decide if I like the way that looks if I don't I may go back and change it later yet again on to the scoop of ice cream and I'm going back over um, those highlight areas and making sure that I've got them really bright I'm just building up those layers of paint um, so that it truly looks solid and like there's ice cream there and just kind of touching up like my light middle and dark areas going back over because it's so um, like translucent at the bottom where I put the white counter you can see through um, to so much of that pink background that I'm going back over that because I want that also to have a more solid feel shading on my cone is pretty good now I've got those highlights the middle tones and then like my little shadow tones where it looks a little bit more gray 
Um, and so now I'm going ahead and adding like those little um, cookie pieces in there. And so I'm using like different types of brown. Some will be more medium brown, some will be darker brown. And I'm making sure that like the shapes that I paint are very like irregular and that they're different sizes. And so I try to kind of stick close to the photo just because um, that way when you do it on your own, a lot of times like you make them too rounded or they end up too much the same. Um, and so looking at the photo is helpful for me to make it look more realistic. So anyways, I'm just kind of skipping around and getting those in place and it's really gonna start coming together now because this is one of those fun details. And I'm using like the edge of just a kind of a medium sized brush, but if you need to switch to your detail brush for this, you definitely could. to wrap it up that's pretty much everything except for the sprinkles on the chocolate dipped part of the cone and so since I'll be doing those with the fine detail brush um, I'm gonna stop once I get done with that and then let things dry and then I'll come back in for those fine details and wrap it up okay so they are really coming together now and we saved the best part for next time the sprinkles um, so I look forward to seeing you back here for part three. Mm -hmm.